Hello guys and welcome to another video in the series of Linux tutorials. In this video, we are going to talk about Linux shells in detail. So let's begin. First of all, what is a shell? Okay, remember that shell is a program. Okay, whose primary work is to execute or run some other programs. For example, in Linux, every command is a program. For example, if I'm writing here ls, then this command is also a program. As soon as I'm pressing the enter, this program is getting run by our shell. So the primary purpose of our shell is to execute our commands or run some other programs. Now, whenever a program is in running state, then that particular program is a process. For example, currently our shell is running. So currently our shell is a process okay so if i do here ps dash e and then grab bash then you will see our shell with the name bash is running with the process id 9395 okay note that i had not talked about the processes so far but later in these tutorials i will talk about the processes in detail okay for now just focus on this thing that our bash is running okay now the next question is who initiated our bash shell okay and the answer is our genome terminal for example if i write here ps3 and then s and then p which is the process number and i specify here 9395 9395 then you will see our genome terminal has initiated our bash process okay which is a shell so now let me clear it Note that the very basic purpose of our terminal is to initiate our shell. Okay. And also note that our shell takes the input from the terminal and also gives the output to the terminal. For example, if I'm writing here ls, then you will see output is getting shown to the terminal. Okay. I had already explained this standard input output concepts in the previous video. So you can check that out. Okay. Now bash is the most widely available shell that is used. Other than the bash, there are also other shells which are born shell, GNU born again shell, that is our bash shell. Then there is corn shell, there is C shell, there is TCSS shell, ZSS shell. And other than these, there are also other shell programs. Okay. Now let's say that you want to know what is the default shell in your system. Then you can write here echo and then dollar shell. Okay. Then you will see that my shell is bash. Okay, now dollar shell is a shell variable and in the next video, I will explain it in detail. What are shell variables? What are environment variables and how they are used? Okay, till then you can use this command to know what are the what is your current default shell? Okay, now let's say that you want to find out what are the installed shells present in my system. For that, you can write cat and then slash etc and then shells. Okay, you will see in my system, I have sh install which is bond shell then bash then r bash dash zsh and zsh again okay so these are the shells that are installed in my system right now let's say that you want to install some other shell for example let's say i want to install tcsh shell for that i can write here let's say let me first search it so i can write here apt search and i want to use tcsh okay then you will see a little information about the tcsh shell which is enhanced version of the csh shell okay now if i want to install it then i can write apt install and then tcsh okay then this shell will also be installed okay okay so tcsh has been installed in my system and now if you see the file get etc and then shells you will see here it is tcsh also okay so let me clear it now so this is how you can install other shells in your systems. Okay. So there are various number of shells. Now let me give you some difference between these shells. Okay. First of all, we have the bond shell and as soon as this shell is initiated, it looks for the file dot profile. Okay. Dot profile in the user home directory. Right. So if I open my terminal, then you will see currently I'm inside my user home directory. Okay. So it looks for the dot profile file inside the current logged in users home directory okay so dot files are the hidden files remember that so if i do here let's say ls then these file will not be printed i have to write here ls dash a okay so it will look for this file in the user home directory right similarly we have gnu born again shell that is the bash shell it looks for either the bash profiles file 
okay and if this file is not present then it will look for this file okay it also uses this file for setting up variables and performing certain actions and also when we log out from from our shell it execute the commands written in this file okay so currently we are using the bash shell and if i open my terminal then you will see the files let me write here uh, bash rc okay this file is present here you will see this file is present okay if you want to see the content of this file then you can simply write bash rc okay and inside it there are various alias that i had created uh, i will explain alias also in the later videos okay and there is environment variable also that has been set there is concept of case okay this is basic basically a shell script file okay then there are shell variables also okay i will explain shell variables in next video so no problem about that so it uses these files okay so similarly we have other shells like con shell which uses dot profile file and also uses the dot ksh rc file okay then there is c file c shell it used dot login when i open my terminal then also uses chs rc file and also dot logout file when i log out from the system okay similarly there is tcss shell uses these files if tshrc file is not present then it looks for the dot cshrc file okay like that so every shell looks for a particular file okay another difference is that when we set up shell variables or environment variables then the way they are set up is different okay for example if i am setting up the shell variable then this method will be used okay in the sh ksh bash and zsh shell okay but if i am setting up shell variable in csh or tcss shell then this method will be used similarly in environment variable also setting up method is different okay don't worry about the concept of variables now i will explain it to the next video note that other than this there are also some minor difference for example if i am using the sh or bash shell then for the standard error redirection i have to write to greater than okay but if i am using the c shell or csh shell or tcss shell then i have to specify here greater than and then end okay now after that let's say i want to use some other shell okay so let me clear this screen now let's say i want to use tcsh shell okay for that i can simply write here tcsh and then this program will be start to run okay so if i press enter you will see tcsh tcsh shell is now running so currently our shell is tcsh okay if you want to use any other shell then you can simply write here that name of the shell for example zsh or any any shell you like okay now if you see here our tcsh shell has been spawned from the bash shell okay so now you can use the tcsh shell here for example you can run any command that you like okay but this here is a temporary shell for example if as soon as i will close my terminal and again run it let me close it okay and again run it then you will see the default shell is still my bash shell okay to change the user shell permanently you have to use the command chsh okay but before that you should use you should find out where is my shell is located what i mean by that let's say that you want to use the tcsh shell as a default shell so before going to that command you should write here which and then the name of the shell okay so it will give the location where is your shell or where is the executable present okay so tcsh executable is present inside slash user slash bin and slash tcsh okay so inside slash bin we generally have the user commands and inside s bin we have the we have the commands that is for the privileged or the root user okay so it is present in this location right so after that i will write here chsh okay give the password it is the user password not the root password and then it will find it will ask for the location okay so currently if you see it is set to slash bin slash bash so i have to write here slash let's say user okay and then bin and then tcsh okay in place of this you can also write simply slash bin slash tcsh okay because the commands are also present in that location so if i press enter now changes have been done and your default shell has been changed to the tcsh shell okay but it is not showing right now for that you have to again log in as the wiki user okay or your normal user so i am writing here wiki and then the 
password here user password you will see now my shell is tcsh okay now i am again logged in as a wiki user okay but if i close it and again open my terminal you will see the shell is still bash shell and it is not changed okay so that is not the preferred way that we can again say a temporarily way okay if you want to make it permanent then you have to log out from the system and log in again okay so if you go to your menu then here it is the option to log out okay so you can log out from here or you can simply restart your system okay so i'm going to log out and log in again so now i had logged in again and if you see now value of dollar shell it is saying that my default shell or the current shell is the tcsh shell okay in this way you can change your default shells permanently so that's all for today guys i hope you like the video if you have any doubt please comment it down thanks for watching and i have to see you in the next video